Yeah, good morning, Bobby. Good morning, buddy. It was coincidental, perhaps, that this morning you wrote me that brief little email um, referencing the 30-meter telescope that uh, dominates the news here in Hawaii. Uh, it's coincidental because yesterday I spent a good, a goodly amount of time writing an essay on the damn thing. Uh, I've got it. I've got that essay open on my phone. This is what we're talking about. It's called the TMT. 30 meter telescope. It'll be the largest lens on Earth. And it's located, if it's built, on what is considered by many to be the uh, tallest mountain in the world. Doesn't perhaps look it, but uh, Mauna Kea, if you track it down to its base on the seafloor, it's a hell of a mountain. Um, the bottom line is the University of Hawaii has been, on paper, the uh, lessor, L-E-S-S-O-R, of this mountain. They lease it. Um, the mission of these leases is to benefit the Hawaiian people. And the University of Hawaii was entrusted to do that with this mountain. UH has, in fact, done has built uh, a slew of telescopes up there and reportedly, until recent years, made a quite a mess out of it. You know, sewage issues and trash and building debris and all the stuff that goes with construction. I say in recent years because I think the University of Hawaii has perhaps tried to clean up its act in recent years knowing that uh, the native people are becoming more restless and intolerant of such behavior. Um, for context, this is just, you know, Cliff's Notes sort of thing. <clears throat> White people came to Hawaii in the 19th century and essentially over the past 150 years, let's say, has stolen most all of the land of the Hawaiians. And uh, the United States, you know, illegally stole the whole place, uh, making it a U.S. territory. Um, this is one of the largest American land grabs in recent history, I, I would assume. Um, and the Hawaiian people have never forgotten it, for God's sake. How could you forget? So when it comes to something like this, a telescope on top of a mountain, it's bigger than the telescope, although the scope itself is pretty immense. It's uh, a flashpoint for uh, historical injustice. It's the way it works. Uh... Sometimes I've thought that it's a little bit like the Standing Rock protest two years ago in North Dakota. Um, what happened at Standing Rock was that winter came and kind of froze everybody out. And of course in Hawaii we have no winter. So we'll see how this thing goes. But I don't think weather is going to play in the favor of the capitalists who want to build this telescope. Now, a, a personal note. When I first heard about this some years ago, I took the side of the telescope. I, I thought to myself, you know, who in the hell would oppose a telescope? You know, it's science, man. It's astronomy. It's looking for, you know, first causes. It's the search for stardust. It's... Uh, it's the stars. The Milky Way. My God, they named a candy bar after it. So yeah, I, I heard about this telescope and I thought of all the things the Hawaiians would protest, why in God's name would you do a telescope? 
The Hawaiians were astronomers, still are. That's how navigation happened in the Pacific. A lot of it was by stars. And by the way, this isn't just me thinking. Many people here in the state, including Hawaiians, I, I'm sure thought the same. But then this story just started, you know, surfacing with more detail. And uh, we are where we are today, including my change of mind. I'd, I, I've come out in opposition to this darn thing. And here's my thinking. Who would spend one billion dollars on a telescope? I want to repeat the, the, the figure because it's really big. One billion dollar telescope. I think that's more money than we spend on the public education of every child in Hawaii. I could be wrong on that but I think that's larger than the budget of the Department of Education here for a telescope on a mountain. Who would put up that money and for what purpose? Is it really to confirm that we're all stardust? I don't think so. This isn't spoken very much here, but at least it's not headlines in the paper, so this is me kind of figuring this out. The reason we're building this telescope is for military purposes. Star Wars. Space Force. That's what it's all about. This scope, sure, it'll be used by various scientists to study the Big Bang or whatever, but others will be using it for uh, other purposes, for uh, warlike purposes. So yesterday I went online, just did a little bit of search on the interests of the military in astronomy. And uh, of course the militaries of the world uh, are uh, users of telescopes. So then it started to make some sense to me. I mean, where do you find one billion dollars to build a telescope? You find it in military budgets. You're not going to find it in, uh, you know, Easter seals. So that's gotten me even more hot on this. It's like The unspoken, the uh, opaque part of the of the telescope. So we'll see what happens here. Uh, the Hawaiian people are, uh, it appears, growing increasingly united on this, to the point where protests are occurring on all of our islands, and some are even blocking the freeways here on Oahu, which is our main uh, urban island, um, protesters, they're, they're called protectors, are cruising the freeways at 20 miles an hour to create uh, some level of havoc. You know, these are called the Hawaiian Islands. And there's only one uh, group that can legitimately call itself Hawaiian, and that's the people protesting this telescope. I could live here until I die. I will never be Hawaiian. No, it's not going to happen. I, uh, it's just the way it works out here. This, these islands are, they carry the name of the indigenous people. And, uh, Although many Hawaiians have intermarried, and now we have this culture called local, I think it's fair to say that many, many, many of the local people, a mix of Filipino or Chinese or Japanese or, or Haole, you know, white, uh, they proudly self-identify as part of the uh, Hawaiian uh, inheritance. 
So, thanks for asking, buddy. Therein lies the story. I'm thinking it's uh, one more step towards Star Wars. Wish you a positive day. You're a bridge builder, you know. You, uh, you're a bridge builder, Bobby. The only man I know who ever built a house out of straw. But don't get me started on that. You know how carried away I get with that. Okay, you give my best to, to your spouse there. I believe her name is Carol. You know, she's the woman who makes a nice dinner for you when you've been out there digging in the trenches all day. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, signing off from this end, I'll do a, a shaka. That's a good Hawaiian sign-off. That's where you kind of go like that. It's got nothing to do with the Texas Longhorns or whatever the hell they are. This is, this is Hawaii, man. This is Hawaii.